about this on the radio after the game, but I, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, the last five and a half minutes after Welsh was nine for ten, he didn't take another shot. Is that, is that correct? I was not asked that. Okay. Um, I don't have that stat in. I don't have that stat in front of me. Okay. But I, if that I is true, we, we obviously want him getting more shots. Okay. But uh, that's. But if you look at Tom's work, that's. I don't know what Alex should help you. I think that's probably about the shots he's averaging. Okay. You know, so obviously you'd like to get him more when he's the one making shots. Okay. But I don't know what you want me to say. Well, I mean, I, I guess mean, I was. <laughs> you regret not getting him more shots in the last. Well, I don't get him happens. shots. Well, it's <laughs> not me getting him shots. Right, right, so right. I mean, I'm Your on the sideline. They don't let right. me come out here. <laughs> so it's, uh, you know, yeah, that's somebody that we always want to play through more. You mm -hmm. know, and we've said that. So, uh, and Tom's been very efficient for us and. Um, but guys that we've been playing through, whether it be Aaron or Chris Wilkes, or we got a lot of guys that have shot the ball extremely well all year, and that was a game where nobody shot it well except Tom. So mm -hmm. it only makes sense if Tom could have got some more shots in the last five minutes. What did you think? The, uh, I mean, that was a ball game right there. It was a four-point game. When you went back and watched those five Well, five I, 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 I disagree in that that was the ball game. I, I think the ball game was our first half was so bad. Um, we did not perform at the level that we've been performing at. We'd won six out of seven. And our effort, our energy, our attention to detail in the first half was nowhere near what it had been in the past three weeks. And I think that was the ball game. Um, now we had to play catch up, and the guys did a great job of playing catch up. But um, looking at the film and, and viewing tape, uh, we had many more good moments defensively than what we had offensively. I thought it was our worst. Uh, and again, give Colorado credit, but I thought that was our worst offensive night. Uh, the ball did not move like it normally moves. I thought we took a lot of quick shots. And because you take quick shots, guys like Tom, then they don't get the touches that they got to get. You've got to make the defense work. They trapped Aaron off a lot of, a lot of screens, and then Tom's going to get a lot of focus. So if you're constantly shooting off zero, one pass, your two guys that need the shots aren't getting touches. And, I think that's what we saw more than anything on tape was that uh, our offense took a dip in that game more than our defense did. Coming into that game, um, did Colorado kind of have an unscouted look on defense a little bit? Had you seen them use those kind of defenses in games where you watched film of them before? Yeah, yeah, they've been zoning. Tad usually doesn't zone much, but they our whole league zoning. <laughs> you know, other than uh, other than probably Arizona, um, and I've I've seen them on tape zone a little bit, but really probably other than Arizona. It seems like our 11 teams in this league is playing a lot of zone. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they they played zone at Arizona State. They played or against Arizona State, against Arizona. So it wasn't anything that we hadn't seen. We'd seen 2-3 zone out of them and man-to-man. -man. Do you think teams have done a better job of scouting and responding to your zone and, and your mix of man-to-man -man and zone? Well, I, we got a lot of respect for everybody, uh, you know, in our league. So I think everybody does a good job of looking at the scout tapes and you know, knowing that we're doing what a lot of teams are doing this year in our league, you're going to see, you're going to see some man, you're going to see some zone. So you got to adjust to, to what that is. And I thought we've done a really good job with that. Utah, Utah mixes it up, um, and I thought we really took it at Utah. So you know, we've done it well. We just, for whatever reason, um, we did not execute the things offensively we needed to do. And I thought a lot of it, we just um, we quick shot and took some ill-advised shots and so to make the offense work. Seems like you've done it some with maybe Alex and Gigi, but are you a fan of, of yanking guys of kind of like teachable moments, or you don't like the effort, or somebody takes a bad shot? Are you a fan? Yeah, of it's not so much yanking, um, but subbing guys. Yeah, we're going to do that. Uh, now, Ike's out with Ike's out with an injury. Uh, Alec Wolf was sick, so there couldn't be a lot of subbing being done. Uh, in the Colorado game, we had eight guys. I mean, that's what we had. Uh, I would say Ike is doubtful for this trip. Uh, Alec is practiced yesterday, so he should be back. But it's not like I, I don't have a lot of guys sitting on that bench uh, that I get a chance, an opportunity to go to. So, um, you know, where the bench can be a heavy motivator, and we thought that would be a heavy motivator um, at the beginning of the season. Um, it's not much of a motivator right now because we just don't have the bodies. What's the injury? I don't know if I'm. It, yeah. Okay. When, and yeah. when did that happen? In practice? Or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Or
Oregon State gave Arizona State a pretty good test last week. What did you see? They've given both. Yeah, they've been playing extremely well. Um, this league's had some, uh, you know, we were playing very well until we lost to Colorado, but Colorado's been playing well. Before we uh, beat Utah, Utah was playing really well. I think you're going to see that in this league is that, you know, now can you just get better? And I'm a big believer when you've had failure, that opens up a door, an opportunity for growth. Now, you don't always take advantage of that, but when you fail, uh, you either stop what you're doing or you learn from your failures and you get a better opportunity for growth. And that's what this team's got to do. Um, so we were one of those teams that were playing at a high level, but the, both Oregons have been playing uh, at a really high level. And so we're catching both these teams on an upswing because both of them have been playing very well. Would you say of all the years you've been coaching the Pac-12, this is the most the parity has been? Uh, I'd players? have to look. You know, this is year five. I, you know, I have to look. At, at, but top to bottom, I think this is a year where in, really anybody can win at home. Anybody can, you know, win on the road. It's uh, it, there's an awful lot of parity to that. You know, I, I still think Arizona uh, is the elite talent team in our league. Um, so I, I still think that's the case. Uh, but there's an awful lot of us then that are kind of pulled together in that. And then it's who can get better, who can stay healthy, and who can get on any kind of momentum. Oregon State playing better. How much of it is getting you know a star player back who was injured for most of last season? Tinkle? Yeah. yeah. Well, Trey's good. Trey's uh, very, very good. I think he's one of the better players in, in, our, in our conference. I've always liked Stevie Thompson. I think he's a... Uh, special player and a guy that I think doesn't get near the credit as Eubanks. I, I think he is, uh, he's a hard matchup. He runs the floor. Uh, he's extremely athletic. He's a very good shot blocker, so he's a rim protector. Uh, and e every year I've seen his offense get better and better uh, in the low post. So, uh, and they've got a lot of role guys that I think uh, are very capable of hurting you. But those three in particular, um, those three are concerns. You see the father-son dynamic. You think you might miss Bryce a little bit? Uh... Well, I miss Bryce. Uh, I miss him every day. Uh, you know, so that that doesn't that doesn't change. But uh, you know, Stevie and I played together. You know, Stevie and I. Stevie was at uh, Syracuse when I was at Indiana, and then Stevie and I were on the same. Um, we were in the same training camp in Sacramento um, before I retired from playing. We we actually got to together and played in the same training camp. So Stevie and I go way back. Um, and uh, it's great seeing his sons that he, he's been able to coach and now be able to watch his sons. And now you got really two two pairs of that because you got coach that uh, has Trey on on the team as well. So you got kind of a, a neat dynamic there that I'm sure they're they're having a lot of fun with. How's Bryce like in the, uh, the G? He's doing. He's loving it. Yeah, he, he's he's off to a really good start. I think he's fourth or fifth in the league and in, in made threes uh, through about 26 games. So. Uh, he's shooting the ball well and doing a lot of good things and uh, really enjoys the organization. He's been, uh, has nothing but great things to say about the Thunder organization. I know you guys want to win at home and, and maybe split on the road. When you, when you lose a game like that to Colorado, does it kind of decrease the margin for error a little bit as you go forward? Well, I think any time you lose, as the year progresses, it decreases your, your margin for error. So I think it's, it's really about why did it happen, what are the reasons why it happened, can you grow through those mistakes and become better? And now the next game, can you take, a, take advantage of that? So our, our whole focus and our whole attention has got to be Oregon State. You know, can we go there? And, and it's not a place we've played particularly well over the years. Um, you know, we had an elite team last year that had to grind one, grind one out up there late in the game. So it's uh, hadn't been a place that we've particularly played well. So we need to go up there with Good confidence, good toughness, and do the things that we need to do well, both offensively and defensively, to late in the game give ourselves a chance to win it.